Good morning, students. My name is Dr. Fidelia Onigo. I will be taking you on a code 213, Macroeconomic Theory 1. This course is on macroeconomics. Economic theory is divided into two branches, macroeconomics and micro. Macroeconomics has to do with the aggregate economy, the economy as a whole. But micro is as a unit. That's but we are concentrating on macro. Macroeconomics has some goals, aims at achieving certain goals. Goals like uh, high level of employment, creating high level of employment in the economy, stability in prices, balance of payment, uh, equilibrium, um, efficiency, all these are the, some of the goals of macroeconomics. Also, for you to study macroeconomics, there are reasons need for studying macroeconomics. For instance, you will be able to know the economy, to study the economy as a whole, be able to control the, 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 the economy, see the things that is happening in the economy, because macro has to do with income, employment, output, uh, aggregate demand, all the aggregates. That's all about uh, macroeconomics. And the, what, another importance of macroeconomics is that it helps in planning. With the knowledge of macroeconomics, we are able to plan in the economy. Another one is national income. We will be able to know the state of the income in, the, in that economy through the study of macroeconomics. Another one is the issue of um, monetary policy. It's through no, the knowledge of macroeconomics that you will notice that you need monetary policies to be able to control the economy, manage the economy with, with uh, the, the supply of money, also manage the economy using fiscal policy, that is government expenditure, and uh, government uh, expenditure and taxes, that is the fiscal aspect of it. Macroeconomics also help us to control the, the, in the business cycle. You know, at times you find depreciation and the acceleration in the economy, so you need to control, put con check on it. It's through the study of macroeconomics that you will be able to do it. That's why we need to study macroeconomics. Then we need to go into the um, theories. The main course objectives uh, the, that we need to discuss macroeconomics with regards to classical and the Keynesian, they are taught. Their idea about the subject macroeconomics. We explain macroeconomic theory, the concept, the concept of flow, uh, stock and flow, the concept of static and uh, dynamic, concept of equilibrium and uh, disequilibrium. We discuss national income accounting. We discuss equilibrium level of uh, income and output, and we also discuss income and uh, consumption. Macroeconomics, the classical aspect and the Keynesian aspect. Ma uh, macroeconomics with regards to the classical. Uh, we look at the basic things. For instance, the classical, the, the, we have uh, the Adam Smith as the classicals. Adam Smith, uh, Ricardo, uh, Malthus, and so on. We have so many ideas, contributions they make to macroeconomics. And these contributions, they have divergent views about microeconomics, but after their di different ideas, they still come up with what they may call classical, uh, their major ideas like uh, the laissez-faire attitude. Laissez-faire attitude. Do it. You can do it. Allow 